ain't catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on Bought a two-seater, yeah, we heading for the sun Shawty got my heart, I ain't tripping for the fun Then me too, you say so much crazy stuff, I just keep on talking <laughs> I don't know, I was gonna keep on here. We won't ready to cut the camera <laughs> Okay That one, it is Huh? Are you ready to start? Yeah, come on Alright, welcome back to the Jackson's Up Shit Shoot Alright Oh, let me try this again. All right. Come back. You ready? I'm always ready. That's All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh... What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Justin Marketing. YouTube channel, guys. I'm your boy, Justin. And I'm Marketing. Listen, guys. Do us a big, 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 a big, 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 a bit, a bit, a bit, big, 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 Justin, you can't get to Mahogany unless you go to Justin. Justin and Mahogany show. Hey, Justin and the Mahogany show. Hey, we should have something like that for our podcast. The Justin and Mahogany show. Hey, oh, get Jesus. ready, get ready. Anyway, y'all, welcome back to our channel. Make sure you turn on that subscribe button and hit the post notification bell. When you do, comment down below so we can shout you out at the end of every single video. Mm -hmm. You heard me? We're back with a good old conversation. And he is. Um, today we're gonna be talking about you should have said something. You should have said something. You should have said something. I should have said something. You should have said something. Y'all, them people treating you like you they treating you, because <laughs> you should have said something. They got over on you, but you should have said something. They doing you dirty, you should have said something. God told you to pray for them. You should have said something. Y'all say what you want to say. But say what you need to say. But don't say what you need to say. You hit it right on. Come on. Come on. We gotta do this. Y'all gotta freeze it in there. Ain't nobody in the freezer. Y'all see me? I got my hands covered. You ain't got no. You cause you you anemic. But anyway, you should have said something. Jump into the comment during session. I mean, um, I know when I was sitting here and I was talking to you earlier, I was mm -hmm. saying, you know, we see that meme all the time where people be like, don't be putting little in front of nothing I got going on. Yeah. Um, and I think in this year, in this season, it's so important that you stand up for what you believe in. You stand up for um, what you are believing to happen this year. You know, don't let anybody diminish or put little in front of anything that you got going on. You know, Talk instead about of it. just like being one of those people where when somebody say something, oh, I ain't gonna say no, I'm gonna let them da 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 No, like, say so something. people used to say a little about your stuff all the time. You remember when you started out, you was doing a calm, your little calm for your they little, little, about me your little, little book, baby. huh? They, call, they said little baby for you. Yeah, they said, they just called me little baby Jake. <laughs> you little baby Jake, they better watch it because you've been a prophesied. Listen. Prophesied something. Listen. Sure. But they listen, they used to say little, little book, little calm for and you know, I wonder where that come from because I feel like it's a lot of people in the black culture that do that. Yeah. I don't really see that in the Caucasian culture where they're like, oh yeah, he started a little coffee shop. No, it's like Joe started a coffee shop. I feel like though in the black culture, we'll be like, yeah, she went on down there and started her little coffee shop. Like why? I think there's something probably mm. that dates back to, you know, when we were enslavement mm. and um, we yeah. just kind of diminished and, everything. And we have to be careful letting people diminish. You You have to be careful letting people diminish anything that you got going on because every everything about you is not little. Mm -hmm. Everything, nothing about you is little. It's major. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful when people uh, talk about your business of people and they be smart at the mouth. And some people do this, uh, you know, they, they just bring that slang up. But you have to learn to correct people because mm -hmm. the Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Then the Bible also says, so if a man thank him. So I have, you have to learn to correct people about your business or whatever God is giving you. Talk about, oh, your little, your little restaurant. No, babe, this ain't little. This is major. Mm -hmm. Because ain't nobody never, ever, I'm kin to, you might be breaking a, you might be banking generational curses, boundaries, mm -hmm. and God, you the first to ever do in your family. So, if, if it's big, if God gave you the vision and God showed you that it's big, ain't nothing little about it. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful 
letting people say something. Oh, that's little. You got your little. And some people do out of habit. Some people do it to be rude. Mm -hmm. But hey, I want to let you know those that are watching this video, put it down in the comment. Put it down in the chat. Ain't nothing little about me. Come on. Ain't nothing little about everything I got is big. Everything I touch and do is major. Everything I got is huge success. This ain't this ain't little baby. This ain't your little hole in the wall. This is major. This is professional. This is big. Mm -hmm. I agree. And like I said, you know, some people they do it just out of slang. I feel like it's also a natural, like adopted slang mm -hmm. amongst us for some reason. Um, but then some people do do it to kind of belittle you, like, yeah, she ain't got nothing going on. It's just a little something, something. But don't let, say something this time. Don't let people. Say I'm something. I'm not saying you got to get into an argument, but, I mean, listen, ain't nothing little over here. So, yeah. you know, make sure you address me correctly. Okay? Yeah, say something. Period. Because um, we, we don't play, you can't play with it this year. Because when people speak that little, you don't say nothing or dress. Because I've been in conversation with people, and they didn't say something. I'm like, nah, 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 I should say. Then you be like, nah, I ain't going to say nothing. Ain't no need to even, because I don't want to get them. No, get them started. Get hey. yourself started. Because you need to you need to protect what God's giving you. So we got to learn to some. It's not being rude, correcting people. I've been around people, and they say, what you mean, little? And they're not being rude. And I could have said they're correcting it because... I gotta watch. They gotta watch the seeds no, that are being planted. spoken and planted over their business, their their restaurant, their ministry, whatever they're working on. You can't let nobody speak something over it, over your seed, because then you wonder why it ain't growing because you didn't correct when God said correct that, correct that. No, 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 correct. You trying to be all now? They didn't really mean that. Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. They said they meant it. They did. So we gotta correct it. You got to say something. Y'all hear me? You got to say something. No, I agree. And I think too, um, you know, you can also talk about just really just speaking over your businesses and speaking over your goals, like mm -hmm. saying something that way, like put it out in the atmosphere. A lot of people call it manifesting, but I just call it, I don't necessarily call it manifesting. I don't say I'm manifesting none of this stuff, you know, to each his own. I just say speaking it because, you know, like the Bible says. Who what a man think of. So if you think you're a millionaire, if you think like that, the Bible said that you are that. Like, whatever a man think of, he is like, I mean, I think we oftentimes just belittle that scripture. Like, do y'all not get that? If you think you're a millionaire, you are a millionaire. Okay. Mm. Like, if you think you are confident, you are confident. Like, it's like a mental thing. Okay. So like, I can think I'm a millionaire. That don't mean that a million dollars is going to like be in my account. Like, you know, five sets, like, oh, I think that you know, going to be my account. No, but it prepares you for it. And then those things do come. Come on. Um, I mean, there's nothing in God's word that comes back void. So if he mm. literally says what a man think of, he is. And that means if you have thought yourself to and truly think it, not with no doubt. But if you truly think it, then the Bible says you are. So his word ain't going to come back void. So it's going to manifest. It's going to happen. Manifest, some people say, but it's going to happen. In other words. Um, and so, you know, just really speaking over what you want, speaking over what you believe mm -hmm. and believing it, you know what I'm saying? Really mm -hmm. believing that it can happen because it will, if you believe it, if you speak it, if you sow them seeds, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so just making sure that you speak it up this year, whatever you want to happen, whatever you're believing to happen, speak it and watch it literally happen. There's so many things that we spoke, that I spoke and literally it's happened, mm -hmm. you know? Cause power and po life and death are in the power of the tongue. And you know, and the Bible says too, acts and it shall be given. The problem, the reason some of us ain't got ain't because of no faith, we ain't asking and being specific. Being, but hey, you don't say I just want to be happy because I want joy. That. You don't know what that looks like. That's you know, right. so being specific. Mm -hmm. I just want to be married. Okay, well, I want to be married to the right person for me. You That's know? right. You could be married. That's but right. You want to be married to the right person. So make sure you're being specific too. Um, and you know, just really, I was gonna say something else, but I forgot. Um, you forget. Yeah. When you Get all timers. No. Yeah. But, you know, really. You should ask. I'm talking about ask. It was something else I was going to for that. Oh, you messed up. Mmm, the brain fart. Mm, but yeah. You, oh, but really? You missed it. Come on back. It's going to catch. You, okay. you got to tighten. No, elderly, you got to tighten on that little knee right there. And it'll come back to you. But got, but listen, you got to you got to make sure you speak up. Um, Even in this season, this, this season mm -hmm. um, I've been in particular, particular places or places in my life that God has had me. Um, want to do something, say something, do something, 
when you get an idea, do it. We got to make sure in this season, in this year of 2023, that everything that God tells you to do, that you do it. If he tells you to say it, say it. If he tells you to produce it, produce it. If he tells you to write it, write it. If he tells you to drive it, whatever it is, do it. Because in this season, God doesn't need, uh, we were talking about the other day, God doesn't need your feelings. He needs your obedience. Mm -hmm. And we got to make sure there's been times, because you never know. God, and some of us have been in places in our life where God be like, speak to that person. And you're like, I ain't going to speak to them. Speak to him because that might he might be telling you speak to somebody that got uh that gonna be signing your check to your to your entrepreneurship whatever you work to your restaurant to your to your social media your next business your boutique you got to speak everything that God tells you to do. Hear me clearly, we got to do it whether it's producing it, cooking it, whatever it is, uh, installing it, whatever it is. You got to do it. If he tells you to say it, say it. Because somebody needs to hear it. I've been in rooms with people. I've met people. And God be like, speak to that person. Tell them something. Because you don't, God uses anybody. So we got to make sure not only are we speaking up to correct people in this season. But we are speaking up when God tells us to speak because God may be using us for that moment. And not just speaking up, but in speaking up in that moment, but doing what he says in that moment. And, you know, it even just, like, takes me back to, like, Tabitha Brown. I think it's crazy mm -hmm. when Tab said that, like, she did not want to cook online. She didn't want to cook, Tab. How you ain't want to cook online and, like, you didn't, like, God didn't your cooking and, like, boom. Mm -hmm. Like, literally from her not doing something that she, like, she didn't want to cook online. Like, and y'all, just her taking her feelings out of it and cooking online like God told her to. I mean, look. like she, She's had mo she got Open a whole doors. tab time show. She got a whole line at Target. I'm not just talking about that clothing line. They literally came back and gave her. She got food products in Target mm -hmm. now, her own chicken salad. She got her own, uh, like, everything. So get your feelings out of it and do it. Oh, yes, my gosh. Right. That's, that's encouraging get right there. Feelings. So in this season, I, we wanted to encourage you guys. Um, if you're watching this video, make sure you share it, share it. Um, but put down in the comments, I got to speak up. Mm -hmm. I got to say something. I can't go another day without saying something. I can't go another day without doing something. You got to do it. You hear what I'm saying? Because God needs you to do it. Mm -hmm. You hear what I'm saying to you? Agree. You amazing. got to. You can't be scared no more. God doesn't need your feelings in this season. It's not about what well, I didn't feel like saying. I didn't feel like doing. No, baby. God don't need because what I was telling, I said it the other day in the last vlog. In this season of your life, God needs you to do. God needs you to do it in when you don't feel like it and when you do feel like it. Mm -hmm. That's why the old saints used to say, do it in season and do it out of season. Mm -hmm. Do it when you're tired. Do it when you're not tired. Do it when people come. Do it when people don't come. Do it when they like it and do it when they don't like you. Man. Be you when they like it and be you when they don't like you. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, keep being consistent and take your feelings out of it. Because if you operate on your feelings, there'll be some days you don't want to do it. There'll be some mm -hmm. seasons that you want to do, don't want to do it. There'll be some months that you don't want to do it. But do it in a what way how? Because I believe one thing about motivation, it finds its way back to you. And all it just needs to do is jump on the bag wagon because you're going to keep going because you're going to be consistent in this season. Mm -hmm. Is that is that good? Is that good? Is that all right? Very good. You look good today, huh? But I'm going to tell you something about you. Ain't nothing a little about you. You ain't got to never. You ain't got to never. You ain't got to never. Never. Never worry about me saying anything little about this. Ain't nothing, baby. What you got on you is major. Listen, them booty cheeks back there, they like dope, like major door. They that's sign, that's a sign of major door, an uh, opening. Yeah, just crazy. The major. Everything about you is major. <laughs> From the hips is big. But anyway, guys, we just wanted to encourage you today. Go out and have a good day. Listen, like, share this video. Make sure you follow us on Facebook.
Make sure you follow us on Facebook. Um, and make sure you follow us on Instagram, guys. Listen, share this video with somebody. Let this video get 5,000 likes. 5,000 likes. You heard me? And if it gets 5,000 likes, we're going to make sure we drop another. Once again, you heard me? So make sure you do that. Um, but I pray that in this year that you will say something. You will do something. Mm -hmm. And you will not operate out of your feelings, mm -hmm. but you will rather you will operate out of your obedience. Mm -hmm. So what you don't have at all, so what you don't have all of the pieces. I believe that if you say something, I believe if you do something, God will do the rest. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So listen, guys. Speak I up. speak up. Don't speak. Speak up. Talk up. Y'all talking about everything else. But I ain't talking about what you need to be talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all. If y'all want our, pod, our podcast, not if y'all want to, because it ain't about y'all. It's about what God said, because I'm operating out of obedience. Mm -hmm. Not operating out of motivation. I'm not operating out of what people saying. But, guys, our podcast is going to be coming soon. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down in the comments. If you're ready for the podcast, let us know down in the comments. Uh, uh, down in the comments, our room is ready. We just re we just got to get our podcast. It's really ready. It's, it's ready. It's collecting dust. It's collecting dust. It's so, saying, come on, man. Yeah, so we get ready to get our podcast rolling. So, guys, we're so excited. If you love this video, share it. Tell it. Tell your mammy, your grandma, your baby daddy, baby mom. Tell everybody about that. This is the year that they gotta not only speak up but do something. Do what God's called them to do. Listen, we love you. We'll see you in the next vlog. I'm your boy Justin. I'm Marketing. And listen, guys. Until next time. Remember, if you Keep it locked. I'm gonna show you how to keep your life lit. Alright. Then let me go show her about what's big on her. Shut up. Because it's gonna be big. Come on. No. Ain't nothing little about you. Justin, stop playing with me. Ain't nothing little about you. Come ain't on. Nothing little, get a, ain't nothing little about you. Get on up. No, I'm trying to show you. I'm gonna go show you in the oh, next room. Gosh. Come on, Justin. I'm gonna show you in the next no. room. No, come, come on. Come on. See, it's gonna be big. No. Woo. See y'all in the next video. Try to catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on. Bought a two-skitter, yeah, we heading for the sun. Try to get my high, I ain't tripping for the fun.